Welcome to Zoological World today we will discuss about Bilby. Of all the charming and unusual creatures found in Australia, the Bilby, also called the Pinky, the Dalgite or the Rabbit-Eared Bandicoot is one of the most endearing. An omnivore that looks somewhat like a rabbit with its huge ears and somewhat like a possum with its long tail and long snout, this nearsighted little animal comes out at night to hunt and forage. Considered an ecosystem engineer, the Bilby digs pits as it looks for food. Incredible Bilby Facts Bilbies are marsupials, which means their babies are born in a very underdeveloped state and do most of what would be fetal development in their mother's pouch. The pouches of female bilbies open at the back, which is unusual. Bilbies not only dig deep, long, and extensive burrows, but their burrows spiral. This makes it that much harder for predators to find them. Bilbies are a very old species. There are bilby fossils that date back 15 million years. They don't need to drink. They get all their water from their food. Bilby appearance The pinky is an animal that's around 11 to 22 inches long with silver-gray fur that has a silken feel, much like a rabbit's. Their very long ears are one of the first things that a person notices about them. They not only give the animal an excellent sense of hearing but help cool them down in the hot desert climate. A male bilby is more robust than a female and can weigh twice as much. A large male bilby is about as big as a rabbit. He also has bigger canine teeth and a larger forehead. All bilbies have long snouts with sensitive whiskers. Unlike a rabbit, the bilby has a long, tricolored tail that's between 7.9 and 11.4 inches long. The first part of the tail is the same color as the body, then it's black, and the last 40% or so is white. The front legs, which are strong for digging, have five toes each. Three of the toes have claws and the other two don't. Their hind limbs are also strong and kangaroo-like, but the animal prefers to run as opposed to hop. Another interesting fact about bilby physiology is its tongue. Like an anteater's, the bilby's tongue is long, thin, and sticky. This allows the animal to gather ants and termites without actually tearing apart their colonies and entering them, for the soft fur offers no protection against bites and stings. The dalgite also uses its tongue to pick seeds up off the ground. Unfortunately, this also causes bilbies to ingest a good deal of sand and soil, but it doesn't seem to affect the animal overly much. Bilbies have bad eyesight, but their sense of smell and hearing are acute. Bilby behavior Bilbies are usually solitary, though two females may sometimes travel and live together. They are expert diggers and can dig several burrows with one entrance and a number of exits, again the better to deter predators. These burrows, unusually, spiral down and can be 6.5 feet deep and nearly 10 feet long. Besides protection from predators, burrows protect the bilby from inclement weather, including the harsh desert sun. They also serve as nurseries where female bilbies keep their babies while they forage. Dalgites move frequently between their burrows. The home ranges of bilbies tend to overlap, but they are not particularly social save during the breeding season. Bilbies are nocturnal, so their bad eyesight isn't an impediment to them hunting and finding food. They leave their burrows at sunset to hunt and come back before the sun rises. Their excellent sense of smell allows them to find caches of buried food and identify other bilbies through the scent markings they leave behind. Their huge ears allow them to hear the movement of underground prey as well as the approach of predators. Males mark the entrance to their burrows with their scent and they also leave their scent in the burrow of a female they've mated with. This reinforces a dominance hierarchy among male bilbies. Males of lesser status do not mate with females whose burrows have been marked by a dominant male, and dominant males mark over the scent marks left by subordinate males. Females see no need to scent mark their burrows.